That was Simon, please. Hi, Erling. Um, you came here last season, you scored all those goals, obliterated all the records, won every trophy virtually that there was to win. How do you stay motivated to do, to do it again or try and do it again? Yeah, you can think about it in two ways. Uh, one thing, I came here and won it all. And the other thing, I'm 23 years old and I won everything and I got the taste of it, how it is to win, uh, win everything. And how I work is that when I feel this, I want to win it again. Easy as that. Hi, Erling. Uh, as you said, it couldn't have really gone any better in your, your first year here. And yet, you missed out to Messi on the two in big individual prizes. For you to actually win those, does he have to retire? <laughs> I don't know. Good question. Uh, yeah, it's true. Uh, true, he won it and uh, he won the World Cup, so uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, he is the best that's ever played, I think, so yeah, I don't know. Ben? Erling, obviously, you've just been talking there about coming here to win trophies. The Champions League continues, but then on Sunday, you've got a huge game away at Anfield against Liverpool. It's the sort of game that already looks like it might determine who wins the Premier League. What's your mindset going into a challenge like that, facing your closest rivals away from home? Yeah, well, first of all, I, I haven't thought of that game anything until you ask me now. Uh, I focus on Copenhagen right now. Uh, but yeah, it's a massive game. Uh, it's going to be a huge game and uh, it's one of the biggest games in England. So um, we have to be ready for the game. We have to we have to be brave and uh, we have to play at our best because um, they've been really good this season. Hi, Erling. Uh, you have scored 28 times this season, five against Luton. You scored against United, but sometimes people talk about the miss, talk more about the missed chances and the one against United especially. Do you think you have an impossible task now that people expect you to score so many that when you miss, oh, that's, that's unusual? Yeah, I think you can think it in maybe two ways. Last year's top score, I got 36 goals. And uh, this season's top score has got, I think, 18 so far. So you can think it in two ways if it's been a good season or not for me. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good, you know, uh, as a team. That's my main focus, of course. Uh, but yeah, I've been missing. Um, I miss a lot of chances. Uh, I will still keep on missing chances. I will still score goals. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll probably miss a big chance uh, in the future as well. And uh, people are going to criticize me. And uh, what can I do then? Should I think of that? No. I should uh, focus on scoring more goals and to, to help the team. Oh. Erling, you're coming up to two years here now at the club, obviously, being very successful on the pitch. I was just wondering, how, how have you found? life in Manchester and at the club since since you moved here? Yeah, I enjoy life. I enjoy life with my, my closest ones and uh, and yeah, I uh, I enjoy it. I don't know what more to say. Hi Erling. You seem to be very strong mentally the way in which you're speaking about yourself and missing chances and you have been since you basically started as a professional. You've always been like this or is it something you've sort of had to work on just this sort of focus who cares if I miss I'll carry on sort of no, it's been a challenge for me when I was young. Uh, I remember when I was young, I could start crying if I if we lost and I missed a lot of chances or whatever. Uh, so it's been I've been working on it uh, a lot, and uh, it's been a challenge. Uh, I think because I demand a lot from myself, and I know my teammates also demand a lot from me, and the manager and and all the fans. So uh, I think it's uh, something to work on, uh, and in the end, it's. Everything's in here, so uh, it's an easy answer, but it's also so difficult. So, uh, but so far, so good. Hi, Erling. I don't know if you saw, but Thierry Henry was on Sky last night, and he was talking about your link-up play, um, hold-up play, and the stuff you're good at, but also the stuff you could maybe do a bit more, and in terms of getting involved. But he also said he's not in the dressing room, so he doesn't know what Pep asks you to do. So, is it Pep saying don't get involved too much? 
would you like to get involved more? Is it something that you could maybe improve? What is the actual instruction when it comes to getting on the ball in this team outside of the box? Yeah, I don't want to say too much about this because obviously it's uh, it's our tactic and what we use against the opponents. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I do what he, he says me to do. Uh, I try to get involved when I should. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I can become better at. Uh, Everything, by the way. Uh, people say I'm good at scoring goals, but I missed the biggest chance uh, in the world ever uh, two days ago. So I can also become better at that. Uh, but yeah, I can uh, become a lot better at a lot of things, and um, that's why we train. Hi, Erling. Um, with everything you've achieved in your career so far, uh, particularly here last season and this season, there's obviously inevitable speculation about your, your long-term future. Real Madrid have been touted as a possible club for you. But do you feel you've got everything here at this club to stay here long term, everything you need as a player? I'm really happy, uh, especially with uh, the people that I'm surrounded with, uh, the manager, uh, the directors, the board. They are a group of amazing people. Uh, and I'm really happy, uh, I have to say. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I say this now, it's probably going to be a massive headline. Tomorrow you never know what the future brings. Uh, so, uh, but again, I'm happy and uh, you can write this, but you can also have to write everything I said right before. Uh, I'm happy and uh, and yeah, that's what I want to do. Sam? Um, following on from that, the club would kind of love you to sign a new contract. Is that something that's been sort of in your head yet or you just focusing on the pitch? Yeah, my focus may, mainly now is, is on the pitch. Uh, there's a lot of games. Uh, two days ago it was Manchester derby uh, and now it's Champions League and on Sunday it's Liverpool. <laughs> so uh, I think I should focus on that. I don't think I should focus on anything else at the moment. Yeah. Hi Erlen. You, um, you were talking before about sort of blocking out the misses and learning how to deal with that. What does that look like when you work on things like that? Is that a mental thing that you do at home? Are there any sort of special exercises? Yeah, it's a mental thing. Uh, I don't have any exercises, but uh, <clears throat> uh, I think it's something I've, I've been working naturally on. Uh, I think it's with everything in life. Uh, if you overthink something, you know, it's not good. If you stress in your life, it's not good. Uh, so uh, it's with everything in life. Uh, and with my life is mainly about football, so um, that's my focus. And I've got one career, and I try to do my best to have the best career as possible. Um, so yeah, my focus is to become the best possible version of myself. And the main main thing is then is the mental the mental part. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know what more to say. Chance. Hi. Uh, you're back scoring goals now, but it's not so long ago that you had a period of two months uh, with injury, with a couple of setbacks as well during that time. How did that uh, period affect you as a person? Uh, as a person? No, it was hard because you get used to something and then suddenly you you don't know what to do. You have to focus on focus on the main thing to be be training and, and all that kind of things uh, when you can't play game games, but it's about trying to trying to find positive things in life because life is, is beautiful and uh, I've got a lot of beautiful people around me to 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 be around me and to to help me and to make me have a good time. So that's my my focus. So Danish media, please, guys. So just Danish. Christopher from Danish media. Um, before the season, Premier League got a new Scandinavian striker in Rasmus Højlund. What is your thoughts about him as a footballer, and what do you think about his start in Premier League? Yeah, I think his start was was a bit hard, I think, uh, but then it became much better. And uh, and when we played against him, I think he was really good. So uh, he's a good player, and uh, he's young, like me. I'm not the youngest anymore, but I'm still young. So he has to keep on developing. And uh, yeah, as a striker for Manchester United, I guess you have to score goals as well. So that's his job. Just to follow <clears throat> follow up on that, uh, I'm Jonas from from Danish media as well. Have you been in in contact with with uh, Rasmus uh, no. while being here in 
in Manchester. Okay. Um, you're playing uh, FC Copenhagen tomorrow uh, as a Norwegian. What is your relationship to to FC Copenhagen, and, and how do you remember this club? I know you you trained in the club as well. Yeah, I was on a trial or whatever you want to call it in 2016. Uh, I think a couple of guys from from the club wanted me then, but not everyone, so it didn't happen. Uh, sad for them, but uh, maybe good for me because I went to Molde and uh, it was a good choice. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the club, to be fair. Uh, it's a nice club. I've got a couple of friends that lives in Copenhagen as well, and uh, they are standing on the, I don't know what you call it, behind the goal uh, in a lot of games. So. So they, they enjoy it, and uh, I like the club. Were you interested in joining FC Copenhagen, or, or, and how was that week in Copenhagen for you, uh, the trial period? One more time, please. <laughs> were you interested when you were at trial at Copenhagen uh, about joining them, or did you already know then it would just be a training <laughs> I, week? I, I thought you asked now, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was interested, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, obviously, it was uh, to join the under-19s then. Uh, So yeah, I was interested. Uh, of course, that's why I went there. Uh, I remember even speaking with uh, Storley, who was the the coach uh, then. I even got a shirt actually, number nine, uh, Harland. Uh, I think I still have it at home actually. So uh, so yeah, I was interesting, but interested, but it never happened. Uh, and uh, yeah, my destiny was uh, another way, and it was a decent way so far. So so yeah. Guys. Did you have a negotiation with Copenhagen? I don't know. I was 16, so I, I didn't do anything of that. David, Copenhagen Sundays. Uh, in Copenhagen, we weren't exactly thrilled to draw uh, City again. Uh, but what do you think about meeting uh, Copenhagen now? Yeah, it's a nice challenge. Um, they've done really good this this uh, this year. Uh, look what they, or this season, I mean. Look what they did in the group stage. Uh, They did had some amazing games. Uh, women analyzing the the games, and uh, they made it really difficult for for the for the teams they faced. So uh, I liked I liked the challenge. I like uh, I like Champions League, and I like um, to meet different teams and to to go to different countries. It's nice. So it's nice. Yeah. Hi, Erling. Uh, also, a question for Denmark. Um, a question from Denmark. Um, which player from Copenhagen has made an impression on you. You have met them a couple of times during the the last seasons. Is there a specific player? Uh, I like the I like the keeper. I think he's he's really. I don't remember his name, uh, but I really like him. He's good with the feet and uh, and uh, yeah. So I like him, uh, especially. I mean, there's a lot of good players. Look at the games they did against Bayern and. Uh, Just United, that was amazing. Uh, the wing is also nice. I don't know his name, sorry. <laughs> of course, I have to say my Norwegian brothers as well, Elionissi and Merling. Uh, but uh, the left wing, I think, I don't Achuri. know his name. Huh? At Elias Achuri. I think so, yeah. Tunisian guy. Yeah, him. I like him as well. So these two. Is there a difference um, going up against uh, defenders from Copenhagen compared to defenders from from the Premier League? No, I think both focus a lot on me, so uh, it's a bit the same. Uh, so, uh, so it's not big difference. Uh, they are good. They are strong. Also good with the ball uh, as well. Copenhagen, uh, I like how they play, but uh, they're both strong. So yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you everyone. <coughs>